In this video, I will show you how you can fix the error can't register with this phone number when you're trying to install WhatsApp on the iPhone 4 in March 2019. So this is in March 2019 and this method will uh, work for you. So the first thing is uh, what we want to do is to remove uh, WhatsApp from the phone. So I'm just going to remove it because this is not working and we start fresh. So I tap on delete. So here we want to um, go to this website. So HTTP column first forward forward slash and in dot seven dot pangu.io. So go to this web address and you want to download this uh, Pangu software onto your computer. Pangu version 1.2.1 dot executable file. So download onto your computer. Once it is download, run it. Tap on run, click on run, and while it's running, you want to plug the USB cable into the computer and your phone so that we're connecting the phone to the computer. And then click on this uh, jailbreak button right here. And then it says on the phone, we want to go into uh, settings. So tap on settings, follow the instruction here, and then tap on general date and time. And then turn off set automatically so turn off and we're going to set the time manually and we want to adjust the date to um, uh, June 2nd 2014 so you can see here so that's December in 2017 so we need to go down all the way to 2014 okay once you get to that date on your computer click on you're breaking again and then just wait so you should see the progress bar will move forwards and it's a injecting bundles so just wait at this point we can just click on the home key to go back to your home screen and you can see on the home screen here pango started installing so we just wait for that to install Now when you see the app appear on the screen, just tap on it and tap on continue and this will allow this um, progress bar to progress further. You will see the phone restart several times during the, this process. Okay, once it is uh, complete, you should see it say Cydia on your phone on the home screen. And in here, you should see it say your phone is already jailbroken. So now, what we want to do is launch Cydia. So tap on it to launch Cydia. And it's a preparing file system. So if this is the first time you open up Cydia, it will say preparing the file system. After that, it will not show again. Then, after that file system is finished, tap on Cydia again to open. Now it's loading up. Once it has finished loading, tap on sources and tap on the edit button and tap on add. And you want to put in this address beta dot u n l i m a p p s dot com and then tap on app source so here you want to add in this beta dot u n l i m a p p s dot com so add that one in and then here I'm going to tap on return to Cydia and make sure it is added in here so go up and down it may take some time to refresh so you might need to refresh it or you can uh, close it and then so it's reloading data so here it is I'm just going to wait for it to reload the data and then tap on the return to Cydia so it's still reloading we have to wait a little bit here's the up, uh, for essential upgrades I'm just going to ignore it for now and return to Cydia and you can see it is now added beta dot uh, uni 
maps or unilimsmaps.com so while well, we want to tap on that and then tap on the search button down here and we're going to tap in app app and we want to tap on app admin so tap on app admin and we're going to install that app admin and tap on confirm so now it's running so we just wait for it to download and install again this is the URL for the package beta.unilimapps.com so now it's installing app admin and then tap on restart springboard and we're nearly done here so we're not far away the next step is to uh, go into iTunes and uh, uh, download um, WhatsApp. We're nearly there. So now that it's finished, so we're going to go into App Store. In App Store, I'm going to search for the app. So I'm going to type in WhatsApp. So I so cannot connect to App Store. We just wait. There it is, and then tap on the download button. And now we want to choose downgrade. So we need to install an older version of WhatsApp. So a good one is 2.18.71. So try this one here. 2.18.71. And we want to download and install that one. So, just going to tap on dismiss. So, here it is. WhatsApp is now installing, downloading, and installing. So, we wait for that to finish. Okay, once WhatsApp is finished, you can tap and launch it. Then, tap on OK. Tap on OK, and you will see the error. It said this version of WhatsApp has expired. Now don't worry about it, we're going to fix it. So what we want to do is go back to your home screen, go into settings, and then we need to change the date. So tap on general, date and time. So tap on date and time. And then turn off automatic. And then we're going to set on the, on the time. So we're going to go into uh, August 2018. So we're going somewhere in August 2018. So around there, August 2018. And then we tap on the back and launch WhatsApp again. And this time you can see it works, you have no more error. So tap on agreed and continued. Then we need to uh, put in the phone number. So put in your phone numbers. And then we can uh, register the phone number to use, then tap on done. So we tap on the done button. It will send an SMS message to confirm. So we will wait. So there it is 652509. So it's validating code. So, so that I, I'm not connected to iCloud and so it will not be able to restore, that's fine. I don't need to restore. I can skip the restored. If you're connected to iCloud, you can uh, restore. So we can give it a name. And that's it. So now you can see uh, WhatsApp is uh, running. So there it is. And that's how you can uh, uh, install WhatsApp on your iPhone 4. If you face the error where say number is not registered, that is because uh, the new version will not work and you need to download and install an older version. And in order to do that, you need to install uh, Cydia on your iPhone 4. Now I hope that works for you. Uh, I'm sure it works if you follow all the steps. And this is for the iOS. Uh, 7.1.2 
So you might need to upgrade your iOS uh, to version 7, but it still works. But I'm, I'm pretty sure if you follow my instruction, it will work uh, perfectly fine and you will have no problem with your phones. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.